Hello, this is Chris from My Cricket Forum, and honestly, I have not flashed a Droid Incredible in a long time. But here we go, anyways. Uh, one thing you're gonna have to do is get the uh, drivers for the uh, HTC. Uh, you can find all of this information and more at our thread at www.mycricketforum.com. Uh, first, let's make sure USB debugging is enabled. We're gonna root this device. It's definitely going on the $45 plan. Applic settings, applications, development, USB debugging. There it is. We've already plugged it into our computer and we've downloaded Unrevoked, opened it, it said found a droid incredible. That gives you a little warning and whatnot. Okay. So this is going to root the device and uh, push a recovery onto it. And we might have to start over again. Now with this we should be able to get talk text MMS. Uh, we're going to be using a ROM called the Cricket Incredible Froyo Sense. It's uh, release candidate 3. It's by a member of XDA forums named he, who goes by Token. The H-boot drivers uh, should be on an unrevoked site also. Probably should have rebooted my computer before I decided to do this. The person who made the ROM actually goes by the handle uh, token419. You can see the boot lo uh, loader drivers were installed. HTC H boot. Device is being rebooted. So if you're not with Cricket and you're just looking to boot, uh, root your device and install a recovery, you're in luck. With root and recovery, you could easily install another ROM, or you could wirelessly tether your device, view system files, or a whole lot more things that you could do without root. Unrevoked 3 is now saying running root. This was a triumph. Looks like it's going to reboot the device one more time.
the actual reason why I usually don't fast forward any of these videos is so that you're following along and doing everything in real time you can see just about how long it should take that's clockwork mod recovery 2.5.1.2 Installing the S off patch could prevent you from uh, many problems in the future if the firmware gets upgraded. However, if you're flashing this over to Cricket, it's likely that you will never get any more messages again about updates. Next thing we're going to do is put the ROM on the SD card so we can install it. So we will mount the SD card and close unrevoked. Here's our ROM. That was unrevoked right below it. Let's access the SD card on here. Just paste it in the main directory. Now, a lot of these instructions, uh, on the thing but I believe if you turn it off hold down the volume button and push power it will boot into recovery but there's also one other way since we have ADB enabled and we have it on our computer if I can get to a command prompt we can just reboot it that way Actually, let's just try to do it this way. Device is off. Volume button down, power, then we'll go down to recovery. Just use the volume button to go down and the power button to select. Of course, it's always a good idea to wipe. So go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Hit the power button. Wait, not the power button. Let's hit the menu button. What buttons are left on this phone? Let's see. Alright, you can actually use the little scroll button right there
Let's wipe the cache also. Why not? And we'll apply or install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. There's our ROM. Go ahead and install it. So we can get due to YouTube's restrictions, this video will cut out at, uh, cut out at fifteen minutes. And then uh, we'll start up again. Might have to skip some of this, but uh, we'll show you the end part, which is important. By my clock, we have two and a half minutes left. Definitely visit www.mycricketforum.com. This tutorial is much easier if you're following along in the forum. Go ahead and uh, become a member. I'll help you uh, download files, find out the uh, latest news about cricket. We also just started a text notification system that you can sign up for. Uh, basically, if there's a network outage uh, data-wise or something and you're still able to get text, we'll go ahead and send out a text and uh, let you know what's going on as we find out. Um, the only other thing you can get through that uh, system, uh, if there's an excellent, absolutely excellent deal, we'll uh, send you out a text up to one time a month. But we're not going to be bombarding you with text, so don't worry about that. And you can always unsubscribe from it by going to, back to our website. All right, just in the nick of time, let's get this done real quick. We'll push the power button, it'll take us back to the reboot system now. And we'll go ahead and do that. Now anytime you run a fresh uh, ROM, or you've just wiped your Android device in general, it's gonna take a long time to boot up. And some ROMs definitely take longer than others, so don't freak out. Chances are you didn't mess up your device, just leave it there. Go smoke, go do something, chill out for a little bit. And if it hasn't done it in like 10 minutes, you might want to start worrying. You might want to hop on the forum and ask somebody. But we're about to go to the part two. Only got a few seconds left here. So yep, navigate to part two of our tutorial.